So my name is Ben Simmons. Um, I was in the Royal Tank Regiment for just under 10 years. I joined the army in about 2007. I left in 2017. Went on a couple of operational tours to Afghanistan. Whilst I very much enjoyed my time in the army, it never scratched that creative itch. There was very little opportunity to do creative things. And so I had an idea about a company that helped film and TV productions represent the military in, in the correct way. And so I set up Bear Arms um, in 2015, and that's what I do now. So this uh, gun is a Webley, and it was used in the last series of Call the Midwife. I believe it's the only gun that Call the Midwife have ever had in the TV show. A lot of the skills I learned from the forces, such as managing people and being able to talk to people and relating to people, um, have been crucial uh, because you are constantly having conversations with various stakeholders at various different levels and the structure is very similar to the way the forces work, so I can be speaking to majors and colonels and brigadiers effectively in the film world. Uh, my favourite one that we've got is the rubber brick uh, that we used in a film called Blue Story where one of the characters gets hit on the head with a brick, so we had that made from foam, um, looks exceptionally real. People skills are, are key, really key, because creative people are not as for forgiving as people in the forces are for, for being talked to straight. So you've got to moderate the language perhaps a bit. Problem solving is a key one. Being able to think on your feet, being able to manage your time and schedule and plan, that's a huge one. Managing budgets, which I did a little bit of in the army, but not much. I had to do far more of that when I run my own business. Managing people, a lot of on set stuff and having to coordinate 20, 30, 40 guys on set for a big battle scene. So that's very much like training as well. So this is my favorite gun. This is a miniature pocket revolver. So this is a 2-2 re revolver that was an assassin's gun. Um, collapsible trigger, so it could be concealed in the palm in the pocket and used to shoot somebody if required. It is very high tempo, very long hours. Every day is unique, problems to solve, which veterans are very good at. Uh, the downside to it is because you are freelance, it, it, you might have months where you don't work. So being strong mentally before you go into the industry is, is, is quite helpful. Short magazine Lee Enfield, designed early 1900s, adopted by the British Army around about 1911, just in time for World War I, was used throughout World War I. Uh, and all the way up to the start of World War II. Only when these started to get lost and used up did they replace them with the number four. The other side of it is that there are hundreds of jobs within the industry that are more stable, that are more behind the scenes, that are more uh, real life support, which really suit people from the forces. Uh, they can be security on sets, they can be uh, moving things around the log logistics side of things so there are loads of adjacent roles that would really suit people in the forces but in order to do it you really need to have got yourself stable and set up in other ways because the industry is so chaotic and if you've got chaos in one part of your life you don't want it in all parts so um, so yeah the roles are out there just you got to make sure that you're in the right mindset for them. We were on a TV show called The Way, which for the BBC, which was Michael Sheen's show. So modern day British rifles. This is a mock-up of the A3. So with all the, the furniture that you'd find on modern A3, including the scope. So from those of you from grew up in the 90s, this is what was called the RCP90 uh, in James Bond. Very unique looking firearm with the magazine on top. So the, probably the best person I've trained was Rebecca Ferguson. So it was for the Mission Impossible films. She was very good. She'd had previous training, but was very quick to pick things up. It's weird, I've, I've worked with people before I've ever seen anything they've done, and then seen them on screen and gone, oh my God, they're actually quite famous.